beat beat somebody down in a minute, blah, 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 blah. You are like, mm, 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 mm. Cause yeah, yeah, girl. Hey, it's Miss Renee. And welcome to another episode of Mukbangs and Money. So, today is not going to be that serious. It's just nachos. It's not going to be that serious. I'm just here today to mostly talk. So, I had this whole big old other thing that I was going to do. I was going to get all deep and philosophical, but I've decided that I'm not going to do that today. I am going to save that for a whole nother day. Something just popped into my mind while I was making my nachos because I was going to make this huge big old display of nachos and I just decided you know what I'm not doing it so I didn't do it black olives gotta make sure they all right black olives because I love black olives I got some cheese up under there too. Gotta get them. Um, gotta get them baby boys up there. Can't have no nachos without no jalapeno peppers. Oh. Anyway, so I had this little thing that popped into my mind and I was like, I want to say something about that. So I decided to get my little bitty plate of nachos and sour cream and talk about it. Yes, honey talk about it Ew. all right so i was thinking about this and i'm like okay that is such a good but before we get started, let me say my grace. Lord, thank you for the food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Okay, so what I was thinking about was, at what point do we let people change? You know how I'm eating this with my hands too, so I might get a little dirty around here. At what point do you really accept the fact that people change? I mean, like for real. You know, you had that one friend from back in the day. That used to be a hot 
mess. And you quit messing with her. Mm. Cause she was just a hot mess. I mean, like you found yourself getting into fights. Every time you turned around, it was something. You almost went to jail messing with this girl. And then you see her like 10 years later in the mall. And she like, hey girl. And you think it's for yourself. Um, here go this. Yeah, no. Girl. What you been into? Oh, nothing. You know, I got my GED. I work at the nursing home on Ford Road. You know. I done left the kids' day. <clears throat> I don't be into all that other stuff I used to be into, girl. You know, I was a mess when I was coming up. Um, I don't be doing that no more. <clears throat> Ooh, that pepper. I don't be at the club every weekend. You know, I don't, I don't smoke as much weed as I used to. Mm -mm. I quit doing all that. And you know what? Deep down in your heart, you wanna, you want, you wanna believe her. But you think to yourself, she started so, ooh. I remember one time my house almost got shot up because of your mouth. Mm -mm. Some men you just be like, mm-mm. The way she used to be a mess, ain't no way she trying. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not true. You ain't trying. You still the same. I don't know. My olives taste a little funny. You know, my stomach. I get the acting. My stomach get the acting. Acting funny. So I just ain't gonna do it. Anyway. Mm -hmm. At what point? At what point do we let people change? Because it's been 10 years since you've seen her. I mean, of course there had to be some change. There had to be some maturity. There had to be some growth. Why not just see if she changed? Why do we just have this preconceived notion that you the only person that can change? You the only person that can grow. You the only person that you know, grew up and, you know, changed and, you know, finished school and did all this and did all that, but nobody else can't change. Only you. Only you could change. And then, 
you be the same person that be mad when people still treat you the same way you used to be. I'm going to keep it all the way 100. I think I give people a chance to show me that they change. The only thing about me is the slip up. The slip up is If you do one thing the way you used to do it once before, or if you just slip up one time, I just be like, mm. here you go. Mm -mm. Um, it's probably wrong. Not right at all. Because... People are changing. Sometimes people ain't totally changed. And even when people do totally change, there's always <clears throat> a little mechanism that will go back to who they used to be for a second. Sometimes people will go back to who they used to be for good. Like, you know what? This whole changing, trying to be a better person stuff, you know, mm -mm. I ain't going to be able to do it. You know, and most of the time they don't make an announcement. It just happens. They don't, they don't say I ain't going to be able to do it. You just see in their actions like, you know what? You did change, but you right back to the way you used to be. People don't never change long enough to see any results. And I'm going to tell you another thing. People don't change long enough for people to believe you changed. Now, <clears throat> granted, changing has nothing to do with any anybody else. Change is for you. But for the most part, people go back to being who they used to be because the people around them don't react or don't believe that they changed and they treat them like they like the old them and therefore they feel like if you're going to treat me like that then I'm going to act like that the only difference is you forgot that the change was for you not for them I've had to deal with that in my life. Um, changing certain things about myself. Changing certain things about my personality. Because um, as I got older, I started to see that some of the things that I used to do when I was young was unbecoming. And um, ratchet, and I need to quit doing that. And so I did. And um, what I saw from friends and family 
was that nobody believed me. A lot of people in my family, a lot of my friends, even though they saw the change, they were like, mm mm. No, you ain't changed. You still, I know you still who you, I know you are. Um, I kind of understood where they was coming from. But what I had to remember was the change was not for them. It was because hopefully I can, I hope you see that I'm a different person that, you know, I'm changing, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to grow up. I'm trying to mature. I'm trying to stop doing some of the things that I used to do. Stop saying some of the things that I used to say. Um, stop having an attitude about some of the things I used to have an attitude about. And I'll tell you the truth. Some people in my family just ain't budging. Some people that, you know, I guess used to be my friends, they not budging either. People are so wrapped up in who you used to be that they can't accept or see you for who you are right now. And that's cool because you deal with people for a reason, for a season, and then you go on. Some people will see that you changed and embrace it immediately. Like, wow, you really did change. Like, you don't, you don't do that. You, you okay? I see you. You know. Some people. <laughs> And depend on and depends on how you hurt a person too because you know it depends on how you was aggressive with that mess you was on you know sometimes you deserve that reputation that you came up with you deserve that reputation. You deserve every bit of I'm doubting you. Because you went hard in the paint, baby. You scared everybody. <laughs> you made people think you was going to be on pills and getting that medicine and collecting them checks. You went so hard for it. And you stayed another day for it, baby. So people who, you know, was like that, you know, I can see how people be like, mm-mm. Johnny, you know you ain't changed, boy. I almost killed you for stealing out my house, for taking my car while I was asleep and then drove it off the side of a road, boy. If you wasn't my brother, I'd have put one in you. I mean, when you're doing stuff like that, I mean, sometimes it's hard to come back. <laughs> it's hard to come back from stuff like that. But hopefully, 
You can. And if you have hurt somebody so bad to the point where they can't forgive you, then you just have to forgive yourself. You have to pray for that person and keep going. You should ask for forgiveness, though. But once you ask for forgiveness and that person don't forgive you, you can't be mad at them. How you going to be mad at somebody because you stole their car? And drove it into a ditch. Um, and didn't even care. And walked away. Like whatever, you'll get another one. Once you finally came off your high. Or whatever the heck was wrong with you. Your anger. Whatever was the reason why you would do something like that to your sister, to your mother, to your best friend, to your cousin, to your wife, to your husband. Sometimes it ain't no coming back from stuff. And I know that people think it should be, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes you can do some stuff to people to where that's it. They have drawn the line on you. And even if you do change, don't come back this way. Just go ahead. Because I don't want to deal. I don't want to look at you. Now, me, from my perspective... Like I said, I always, you know, especially if you apologize, which is very rare. Almost nobody ever apologizes about anything that they do wrong. People will just start calling you again. Start being like, oh, what you doing? You know, instead of calling to apologize, you just want to be like, oh, I ain't talked to you in so long. I guess that's the apology, huh? But anyway, if somebody do apologize, I will forgive them because if it wasn't for, for too much, darling, like I said, you can you can draw the line. But now, like I said, I do have. I ain't gonna call it a flaw. I'ma just say a wall, like everybody built up. We call ourselves forgiving people. And then when we forgive people, as soon as they do one thing, ooh, it only take it only you ain't got you ain't got really do nothing. You could look wrong, you could say something out of turn, you could be ten minutes late. Picking them up from somewhere and they're like, you know what? Mm mm. Because you're the same person you always been with. You ain't gonna never change. Blah, 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 blah. And I would have to say that I'm kind of guilty of that. Like, people should just be perfect. You know, like, you can't. You can't give people no room for mistakes out here. You make one mistake, you do something wrong, you have a bad day. Your friend gone. 
your cousin gone, your mama, your auntie, so and so. Because people just ain't got time to be hurt. People tired of being hurt. And that's what it is. And so, I understand on both sides of the spectrum. I understand as the person who was trying to change, who was trying to show everybody that I changed, who was trying to bend over backwards to, to show people that I changed. <coughs> And I saw that some people I had hurt too bad and they wasn't accepting me back. Some people I hurt and they accepted me back. But as soon as I did something wrong or something that they didn't like, it was back to, oh, mm-mm. I don't mess with you no more because you're not perfect. <laughs> you know, you you messed up. I tried. I'm not going to forgive you. And then I got people who I hurt that forgave me, but just this much. Like, you know what? I'm not giving you the whole thing like we, like we used to have. I'm going to give you, I'm going to bring you right here. And this all the room you get. So don't ask me for nothing else. It ain't going no farther than that. I'm cutting it off where I'm cutting it off. And this all you get. At some point, you just have to deal with it. Like I said, you can't be mad. You the one who was like you was. You the one who did what you did. You know, you the one who hurt people with your words, with your deeds, with what you didn't do, with what you did do. Um and you got the nerve to be mad at somebody because they won't forgive you. You can't. Now, people should forgive, but they have a right not to. And how are you going to be mad about it when you was the one who offended somebody? So, that's the way I look at it. With those people who, you know, don't deal with me, people who do deal with me, and who people who deal with me on their own terms, there's nothing I can do about that. So I understand that from both spectrums. Like I said, um, now when it comes to me, um, I'm probably the same way. Um, I forgive you depending on what you did. I forgive you, you know, enough to let you back in my life. And sometimes it is a, um, it's a progress, you know, like, okay, you say you change, let's see, you know, let's see, you know, if you still do this, if you still do that, if you still offensive, if you still holler, if you still mean if you still a liar if you still a, a mess starter you start mess you know just drama and dramatic you know because see the thing about it is the devil can't hide he try but the devil can't hide the devil is the opposite of everything good so patient he's impatient 
even when you trying to hide the fact that you changed when you really didn't, the devil is going to be like, ah! And those who have eyes will see. Mm-mm. Nope. So, sometimes, I will see that a person have changed. I'll be like, you know what? After a period of time, like I said, because everybody need a period of time, I'll be like, you know what? So and so done really changed a lot. And, you know, sometimes, you know, that person may, like I said, everybody kind of revert back for a minute or whatever. But, you know what? That's when I give you space. That's when I say, hey, okay. I ain't totally gone nowhere, but I ain't got time for this, this foolishness. Now, I ain't got time for that foolishness. You know, so if you here back in my life to start that bull again, um, I'm gonna go with no for 200, Bob. I can't do it. My nerves can't do it. My energy, something that I have been starting to do like a lot these days is protect my energy. Protect my environment. Protect who I'm around. You know, I want to be around... You know, people that are happy, that are smiling, and for it to be genuine, not something that you just do. I don't know why people so fake. I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. Like, well, yes, I do, because you look stupid being being um, mean for no reason. It makes you look stupid. So you have to act nice because you don't have a reason to be mean, but you want to be mean. And so you act nice because right now you don't have a reason to be mean, even though you feel like doing it. So I guess people fake because you look stupid for being mean, angry, um, you know, and whatever else people are, or just tripping jealous um you know so people act like they like so oh that's cute you know all the time you about to steal it or either you mad because i got one and you don't like girl i don't have time for people like that i don't have time for people like that if we can't be more mature enough to celebrate each other and what and what we have i don't want to be around you i cannot be around jealous people envious people people who mad because you got some and they don't and all that kind of stuff i just don't want to deal with it you know what keep your insecurities to yourself and like i said i already know that people are not perfect but at least work on it you know at least at least work on it pray about it or something because you know I done got to the point where I'm too old. Now, I used to do it a lot when I was younger. I could be around fake people. I could know they don't like me and still be around them and all that. But right now, I have to protect my energy. I can't be around people that I don't, that I know don't particularly care for me unless we at work or something like that. You know, because then, you know, I'm, make, I'm making my money. I don't, I really, you know, it doesn't make me a difference who doesn't like me. But, um... You know, just like your mama told you when you went to school, you're not there to make friends. I feel the same way about my work environment. If I do have make a friend or have friends, then that's wonderful. But that's not why I'm there. I'm not there to make friends. I'm there to make money so that I can pay my bills. So, um, you know... <sighs> I just went off on a tangent, didn't I? Bring it back. Bring it back. I don't know. Lip gloss? Nowhere around here? It's a lip gloss. But anyway. Um, the 
back to the subject of when do we let people change? How far do we continue to um, judge people? You know, you know how how close do we let somebody who crossed us before? You know, how close do we let them get? You know, it's been twenty years. Like that was twenty years ago. Like we was fifteen. Uh, we was 18, we was 20, you know, we almost 50 now, girl. Is you serious with all this whatever and what have you? You know, like, I done changed. I'm not that same person I used to be. Like, do you believe them? Like, well, like I said, it's a probationary period for everything. Um... You got a little while to show me. If not, then mm -mm, I ain't gonna be able to do it. But um, tell me what you think down in the subscription um, in the description box below, um, or in the comments. Tell me what you think. Give me your story. Tell me what happened with you and somebody that you forgave and you let them back in your circle and they burnt you. Or you let them back in your circle and you found out they really did change and y'all became the best cousins, sisters, mother, daughter, brother, auntie, uncle, best friends, whatever, whatever. Tell me your story. Tell me your story. Um, If you like this video, then press the like button if you want to hear more stories this i mean i talk about stuff like this all the time you know i do mukbangs and everything but because they're so popular but really i like to talk about things that matter i like to talk about things that i think you know is going on in today's society and um really what i just touched on was forgiveness was wholeheartedly forgiving people you know people always say oh i forgave her i just don't talk to her when you really 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 think about that if forgiveness was that easy it wouldn't be hard if forgiving somebody was that easy, if all you had to do was forgive somebody and not speak to them or not deal with them no more, that's too easy. Like, God wouldn't even ask you to do it because it's too easy. And not only that, think of it the other way around. What if God forgive you but not deal, but not deal with you no more? What if God said, you know what, I forgive you, I just, I just ain't talking to you no more. I ain't dealing with you. I ain't blessing you. Matter of fact, I, I'm not even, you know what? I I might not even get you up tomorrow. Because you done disrespected me. You done lied. You done cussed. You done got high. You done lived the way you wanted to live. You didn't go to church. You didn't pay your tithes. You don't care. You don't read the Bible. You don't pray. You don't do any of those things. So therefore, you know what? I forgive you, but I'm not I'm not blessing you no more. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not giving you nothing. I'm not waking you up tomorrow. I'm not blessing you. I'm not blessing your kids. I'm not I don't want to have nothing to do with you. But I forgive you. That's how you know it ain't right. That's how you know that forgiveness has way more to do than just saying you forgive someone. You have to press in. That means when you forgive someone, if they call you for a ride, if they ask you for a dollar, if they say, hey, I ain't got no food, Depending on what they did. Now, I'm not saying that people who beat you and 
people who stalked you and um you know stuff like that if it's if that person was violent or um considered crazy or psychotic no you can't deal with a person that's considered psychotic because they have no rational thinking so i'm not talking about forgiving somebody who's psychotic or going through some type of psychosis that's not what i'm saying i'm saying <clears throat> something um or forgiving somebody you know if somebody is on drugs or something anybody anything that alters your state of mind that's not what i'm talking about you know um but you you i think you know you understand what i'm saying you understand what i'm saying um because we have committed some horrible heinous crimes against god we have been rebellious against him we have um like i said we just been straight up you know rude um angry spiteful mean um proud proud you know beat beat somebody down in a minute blah 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 you are like mm, 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 mm. Cause yeah, yeah, girl, like I said, keep that same energy when your spirit departs from your body and you standing before God, keep that same energy, keep that mouth going, keep that neck rolling, keep all of that energy that you got and see where it gets you. At some point you got to humble yourself and I hope that you do that before your spirit departs from your body none of us are perfect but i pray that you try to work on yourself every single day one thing at a time one character flaw at a time build your faith up build your prayer life up because you know what one day this life will be over and then your next life begins and your next life is going to be the life that you live forever so to tell you the truth what happens in the next life is more important than what happens in this life stop putting so much emphasis on what happens in this life get forgive people Remember that people are who they are because of their environment. Remember that you are who you are because you're of your environment. So that if you want to change and do better and become a better person, change your environment. And work on yourself every day. Work on yourself every single day to be the best person you can. To be a better person than you was last year. And do it for you. Because if you do it for your mama, and you do it for your daddy, and you do it for your husband, or you do it for your children, or you do it for your sisters, or you do it for your girlfriends, chances are you'll go back to who you used to be because you didn't do it for you. You did it for everybody else. Change has to be something that you do for you. Because you know what? They're not gonna they're not gonna they're not gonna believe you. They're not gonna believe you changed. It's gonna take a minute. Sometimes it takes a year, sometimes it takes ten years, sometimes it takes twenty years, and some people ain't gonna believe you no matter what. But that don't mean that you change and go back to the person that you used to be. You have to move forward for you. You have to move forward and be successful for you. This Miss Renee, I am <clears throat> going back to school. I've been a hairstylist for 20 years, but I'm going back to school to get my PhD um, in psychology. And I am going to become Dr. Florentia 
Renee Dunwitty because it is my intention to teach people to love on people and to show people step by step how to become a better person and to how to get out of their head and how to get out of their thoughts and to live and be free and become a better person. To be, no, how about this? To become the person that they always wanted to be instead of the person that they became because of their environment. I love you and I hope we all make it.